Today I'm with my friend Jason Goodison, who also has a YouTube channel. I do more hardware engineering, he does more software engineering and comp sci. And we have a bunch of TikToks that we're gonna be reacting to together. So yeah, let's get into it. Oh shit. All right, so let's look at the first TikTok. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. As a hardware engineer, yeah. we don't really use leak codes. So yeah, I'm gonna leave yeah. this one up to but you. But you know what leak code is. Of course, right? I know it's, what leak code is. Like yeah, death. It's the worst thing ever, man. Really? I, I don't even like. So I'm a startup founder now. I don't even make people do leak code ever. I just give them coding challenges. Like, wow. leak code sucks. So make sure to anyone interested in CS to like go for your company. They don't have to worry about leak code stuff. <laughs> exactly. Okay, let's go to the next one. Yeah. The next one. Science will die in the next five years. Computer science to be working within the next five years. Damn. No one will be using no the next five Okay. Years. Okay. Mobile development is already dead. Okay. And the AI will take over jobs in the next five wow. years. Wow. He just says like whatever comes to his head. Yeah, okay, so the first four things are definitely not true, I think. <laughs> I'm not even in yeah. Comsci, but yeah, like. Yeah. The last one, yeah, AI taking over the world, potentially possible, but like mobile, yeah. anything software related has been like killing it. Like yeah, people yeah, make yeah. a lot of money in yeah. those jobs. So I don't know, like, I don't know if you want to add and to that. Know, and on the, the last note, like Sam Altman, founder of OpenAI is like, I will never make a prediction about AI and technology because anyone that does that is a fool and they're always wrong. And mm. I love how this guy's just like, Sam is wrong. <laughs> Everything is going to be over in 20 years. It could be two years. Yeah, like yeah. who knows, right? Yeah. Like you're on an exponential curve here. Could be five years, could be 20 years, could be 40 years, no one knows. No, I agree with that. Okay, let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. This one is clear. Guys, I think he's doing it for views. There's no way yeah, he meant yeah. that. He's like a, a young tech lead. <laughs> I'll just say controversial stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tech lead, does tech lead still make videos? Dude, he does, but he only makes videos that are like really like controversial. Like okay, one okay. of his videos was about like how Russia is not wrong in the Ukraine. I'm just like, what are you even talking about? Okay, okay. About interesting. Anymore, interesting. <laughs> so what here in this code can we do and change to make this the number three? One of my IT friends Dude, was easy. Inside. Easy. You want to phone your friend? You know what it is? Oh. Okay, give me three minutes. All right, three minutes. I can tell you what's wrong already. This is the difference between junior engineers and senior engineers. Do you know what it was? I, software Dude, the, is way <laughs> beyond me. I have no idea. The, no, the letter N was not capitalized in that function call. I should have called him number three. See that? What? Letter oh. N's not capitalized. That's it? That's it. That'll do it to you. Wow, 500,000 likes for just wow. that. Wow. That's crazy. Side note, if you're like me and don't know much about coding, like you couldn't even figure out what this piece of code even meant or what was wrong with it, but want to learn, then you should check out Coding Dojo who are sponsoring this part of the video. Coding Dojo offers three curriculums, software development, data science, and cybersecurity. Within each curriculum, they have part-time and full-time options, and they're all available online. So you can definitely find something that fits your schedule. They believe the best way to teach is by repetition. First, you learn the fundamentals of programming using JavaScript. Then you apply those fundamentals using a different programming language to strengthen your understanding. Then do that again in a different language. This allows you to use the same concept in different situations, which improves your ability to program and also improves your ability to learn a new language. If your goal is to work in software, they're not just gonna throw content at you and expect you to figure it out on your own. Instead, they'll be with you you from day one, help you develop a portfolio, build a resume, ace job interviews, and teach you the fundamentals until you land a job. In 2020, over 95% of their students found a job within a year after graduating from their bootcamp. But if you do want something that's free and you are new to coding, they have this other thing. They offer an intro to Web Fundamentals Workshop. In here, they'll teach you some super basic information before moving on to some more advanced programming courses. So if you're new and don't wanna put a lot of money up front, try this out. I'll put a link in the video description. <laughs> <laughs> See, we both went to Waterloo, so I don't know. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of work. First of all, you only take one picture, like at the first day. I don't know why he has two, but I have two walk cards. Really? Yeah, because I oh, I started and then they changed the walk card in my last year. Oh, I think that's okay. what they're doing here. Yeah, maybe. And there's no year, but that's uh, that's 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 extreme. I don't. I wouldn't go <laughs> and say I really look that bad, but. I don't know. What do you What do you think? Do you think Dude, it looked that bad? Um, I don't know. I feel like he edited this. Um, maybe not. I don't know. I mean, it's definitely two pictures. He's not definitely smiling. The no, first no, one, I know, but second. it looks black and white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Okay, okay, we get it. We get it. 
I'm gonna be honest, I've definitely had moments when I was, I come back from class, I just go on my bed and I just stare at the ceiling. I'm just like, what am I doing? Is this even worth it? Yeah. I'm was not it? disagreeing with, I mean, yeah, I think it was worth it. <laughs> but like. Dude, if you say, if you have to say, I think it was worth it. <laughs> I was, no, was it, it was worth it. it, it was worth it, it was okay, worth okay. it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, this is, I mean, what is it like? You studied comp style, what was it? Similar experience? Oh yeah, man. Um, I feel like you're like that for the first year, maybe the first two years. And then after you like start figuring out how to do university, it's a game of figuring out university, like not engineering yeah. or computer science. It's like you have to figure out how to take classes in university. And once you figure out that, everything becomes easy. Yeah, that makes sense. I feel like in first year, the content you're learning isn't as hard. It gets harder in like fourth year, but you just become better at dealing with exactly, it yeah. in your third year and fourth year. So it's just easier. Like I think the amount of hours I studied was basically almost every hour of my waking day in first year. Yeah. By the time I got to third year, I was like only studying before midterms and finals. Yeah, yeah. And, and the thing is, you know the questions they're gonna ask too. Yeah. Cause you're like, you're like, oh, this wouldn't make sense for a good question, but like this would make good sense for a good question. Or yeah. this, this question was done poorly on the midterm. So it's gonna show up on the final. You know, like you'll figure out how to preemptively know yeah. the questions on the midterm. But that TikTok is definitely true. Yep, for sure. One day as an engineer. Web shooters from lighters. One month as an engineer. Percy Jackson expandable shield watch. One year as an engineer. Bouncing Captain America shield. Five years as an engineer. Record breaking speed suit. Ten years as an engineer. World's first flying electric jetpack. One day. Okay, like, I'm gonna be honest with this TikTok, like, you don't really build anything in class. And that's even after you graduated, you're not gonna be working on this stuff. It's sad, but like, once you get a full-time job as an engineer, you're just, you know, you're just working on very basic stuff. Maybe like, a, for, at least for a mechanical engineer, maybe a little, like a little enclosure on a, on a robot. Like, or if you work, let's say you work for Apple, you're working on like, a very small part of, let's say, their PCB, or just a very small portion. You're never not gonna do anything crazy like that. Yeah. And let's say you do this in your own personal time. Yeah. You, this is really expensive, and you don't learn enough to be able to do that on your own, because this involves yeah. mechanical, electrical and software work. So he, this person definitely taught himself a lot and is not able to create stuff like that. Yeah, I was just gonna say today I learned that I've only been an engineer for one hour. Cause yeah. like, I can't do any of that I stuff. cannot do that. But I, maybe I, the web shooter is like, somewhat doable if you have a little bit of hardware knowledge, but yeah. more than that, I just think it's expensive. To the me. thing I hate about these kinds of TikToks, and like this is why I started a YouTube channel, is I feel like everybody makes you feel terrible. Like if I was to watch this as a student, I'd be like, wow, I'm an idiot. I don't know mm -hmm. how to do any of that stuff. Yeah. But like this stuff is non-trivial. In fact, like this is probably a whole team of people, right? This isn't just one person making it. Yeah. So anyway, don't feel bad that you can't like make, make a Captain America <laughs> shield. Yeah. I remember in college, all of our engineering friends, like staying in the library till overnight, four in the morning then until the exam the next day, like bringing our blankets, like eating the same thing for a couple days, hardly eating because we were anxious, like crying over our homework, uh, failing out of classes and just being super miserable and tired and not taking care of ourselves. Okay. To now I see all my engineering friends on social media and like we're all working six figure jobs and like traveling and are a completely different version of ourselves. And so sometimes I like think back. I mean, yeah, that's pretty accurate. Yeah, definitely. I guess when people ask me, is engineering worth it? I think this is a reason for why I think it's worth yeah, it. Yeah. Cause you go through hell yeah. for a bunch of years and then all of a sudden like, you're traveling like I just came back from a trip in Hawaii with my friends from college or from university. Yeah. And like like it was amazing. You know, we struggled together and we get to like kind of yeah. celebrate together. Yeah. So I don't know. I hundred percent agree with this. It's a it's a real goal. Like, is engineering worth it? It is. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I think I don't know that I have much to add. Yeah, like it's it's a trade-off you know you're making in college. Mm -hmm. You're like, I know that my life's gonna suck for four years and then it's gonna be good after. So like it's it's 100% a hundred percent a trade. Yeah. It doesn't suck that badly. Like, dude, you know what the thing is? You do form like connections with yeah. people when you go through struggle with them. So like you're still friends with all those people you went to college with, and yeah. you're still going on trips. Like that bond that you build with those people is like really hard to break. Yeah, in a hundred percent. So you want to do engineering? Yeah. It's six a.m. I'm trying to do a fucking wing. A wing. <laughs> Chair, I haven't slept in three days and I'm a caffeine addict now. <sighs> Help. So you wanted to- Okay, like, I can see the merit, I can see the truth behind this, but like, it's not that bad. Like, I've never done any all-nighters. I don't know, but I've never done any all-nighters. The lowest sleep I've got was maybe five or six hours a night, just because I've had to like, do a lot of things in the span of a week. You're Chad, dude. <laughs> no, no, I've never- <laughs> But that's, like, that's the least sleep, like, cause like, let's say I have an exam coming up, I'd rather study less and get enough sleep. Yeah. So then I'm focused and like, study, more and then get no sleep. I don't even want to see this. It's gonna be, it's gonna be cringe. What is this motherfucker up to now? <laughs> okay. Yo, what the fuck? 
I mean, sure, we like building stuff, but we're not that extreme to like build stuff like that. On a, at least I'm not on like a personal level. You know, like, you know what I thought I was gonna see was like every time you go into like an engineer or a college student's house and like their their toilet has not been cleaned since they moved in, and I was like, oh, I don't even want to see this. And then it ended up not being what I expected. Uh, but I mean, hey, it was pretty clean for an engineer. It was, it pretty, was clean. pretty clean. Yeah, unrealistic. Yeah. Yeah, unrealistic. <laughs> that's the, so that's the unrealistic part, really. Here are a couple things that I didn't know about engineering before I started. First off, aerospace isn't really a job. If you do aerospace as your major, you'll most likely go into systems or manufacturing or a different job that isn't necessarily aerospace. Hey, quick pause real quick. That is pretty true. Like, the, the way I like to think about it is like, there's really like five main types of engineering. It's like mechanical, electrical, software, chemical, and civil. Everything else is like just either a mix of multiple or like a, a subdivision of one. So like aerospace just falls under mechanical. So I've got two points here. First off, all roads lead to software. Like half of these people end up doing software engineering anyway. Just because of the money. Just because the, the money is insane in software. And like the number of jobs, right? Nice, this guy went from struggling in class to working at Apple. That's what it, that's what you're supposed to get from that? <laughs> I guess. Right? 1.1 million views? I guess people- Or likes? 1.1 million likes. I guess it motivates people to like, I mean, you should have done that when you worked at Microsoft, have some random shots of you struggling in school and then yeah. you walking through Microsoft campus. I think high level stuff tends to do pretty well on TikTok, so I think that's why it's doing really mm. well. But yeah, from struggling in school to working at Apple, I mean, hey, that's every hardware engineer's dream. What's the lowest you've ever gotten on an engineering exam? Uh, a 40. Yeah. Brandon, what's the lowest you've ever gotten on an engineering exam? A 40. Brooks, okay. what's the lowest grade you've ever gotten on an engineering exam? Probably like a 25. Wow. 20. I mean, really. What's the lowest you've ever gotten on an engineering exam? Five. Five. Yeah, pretty good. What's the lowest you've ever gotten on an engineering exam? Uh, 43? Wow. What's the lowest grade you've ever gotten on an engineering exam? Pretty What's the lowest grade you've ever gotten on an engineering exam? I think I got, um, surprisingly not as low as you would think. I think I got a 59. Okay, that's not bad. But the average was 49. The lowest I ever got was a 38%. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was for this dynamics midterm and it was just you just crazy for that midterm It was two hours long. Okay, everyone was struggling and then she was like, you know what? I'll give you guys an extra half hour and I was like you can give me an extra hour I, I didn't know how to answer the questions Yeah, like no. and so many people like I was remember I was walking back home with some people that did like some of my classmates and my friends and We were all just looking at each other like we fucked up like yeah. we can't do anything. We're screwed. Yeah. Did you think engineering school was that hard? Oh, hell yeah, I was. Yeah. I didn't think it was that bad. Oh, yeah, because you did the civil engineering school. <laughs> <laughs> civil engineers get made fun of the most. <laughs> it's like, you know you know why? Because like everything they work with doesn't move, right? Just buildings and bridges, they don't move. Whereas like mechanical engineers we, or even mm -hmm. software, like you guys work with stuff that move and there's like change over time. And so it's, I guess, another variable you have to consider, whereas mm. these guys don't. But I mean, it's still very, I wouldn't say it's easier. Like I think when they say it's ever mechanical, electrical, they're all equally difficult. Okay, that's fair. But, I, I never yeah, even yeah. thought about that. All right, so welcome to part two of the super easy tutorial. So basically we already talked about the equalization compressor, but now we're gonna talk about the saturation modulation harmonic compressor distressor. That's really, all right, so welcome to- Dude, that's, does that mean anything? No, I mean, I, he's just making stuff up. It's so true that when you sit down in computer science class, and even when you like do tutorials online, you're like listening and you're like, oh, this is really easy, this is really easy. And then you like blink for half a second, and then it's like, all of a sudden, I have no idea what the fuck they're talking about. Oh, this guy is so cool. to talk about here first of all like some of the things you mentioned are true like yeah you know if you study physics you're probably gonna end up working as a physics teacher or maybe a physics professor yeah there's not really much applicable job you can get comp sci you'll probably work in tech make a lot of money 
But like, first of all, physics aren't major. Physics majors aren't jocks, so that's like one thing definitely. You yeah, talk I, about. I love that the physics major is like the jock, <laughs> the jock here. That's definitely not the case. But I'm gonna be honest. I have met people like this who yeah. are like just so in, like they're just so in themselves. Like they yeah. just think they're better than everyone. Yeah. Maybe they're not as cringe as this. It's definitely a bit of an exaggeration. Yeah. But you'll definitely meet people like this. I don't know. No, yeah, you will like absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I hope that was fun reacting to TikToks. Yeah, yeah you worked at Microsoft, and now okay. you have your own tech startup. That's right, yeah. We yeah. just went through uh, Y Combinator. So, apply also. We just raised funding too. How much you guys raised? We raised just shy of $4 million. Wow, that's yeah. sick. That is really Thank cool. Thank you. Yeah, come work for us. We're, we're really... You guys are hiring? Cool. We're cool. hiring. Just yeah. hiring software and CS students? Mostly CS students right now, yeah. I don't have much of a need for electrical engineers and civil okay. engineers. <laughs> Definitely not okay. civil engineers yeah, 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 yeah. from what I learned today. All right, see you guys in the next one. See ya. Peace. Peace.